Hi, hello, namaste to everyone and welcome to my channel Harsha's Life. So today is Ayurveda episode 86 and today we are going to speak about the super beneficial medicinal plant which is very beneficial in bleeding disorders and in respiratory disorders. Yes, we are speaking about Vasa. So let's know more about this. So in Sanskrit, it is called as Vasa, Vasika, Vajidanta, etc. In Kannada, it is called as Adusoge and in English, it is called as Malabar Nut. So the qualities of this is it decreases the Pitta and Kapha in our body and in taste, it is astringent and bitter in taste. And it is having the cold potency. It is having the lagu and ruksha qualities. Lagu is it is easily digestible and ruksha means it causes dryness in our body. So now let's know about the dosage. If you are taking the leaf or the flower, the swarasa that is the juice of the leaf or flower, you can take it up to 10 to 20 ml. And if you are taking the kashaya of the root, then it is about 40 to 80 ml. And if you are taking the churna, then it is up to uh, one fourth teaspoon or uh, half teaspoon you can have. And the, uh, the, the part which has been used in this plant is the leaf, the flower and the roots. Sometimes the whole uh, panchanga is used or the whole plant is being used. Now let's know about the health benefits or how you can use this plant. So now let's know the health benefits. It's very good for the respiratory disorders if you're having uh, the cough, a chronic cough which, which has been there from a very long time and it's good for that. And if you're having asthma, bronchitis, so this is very beneficial there. And it purifies the blood and it does the stambana, that is it stops the bleeding. So it's very beneficial. It's it's a Vedana Stapana that is it reduces the pain, it reduces the inflammation and it's very good for the skin diseases. So one more thing is it's used in fever, in diarrhea, in vomiting and Trishna. Trishna is when you have an excessive cold, uh, excessive uh, thirst. And one more thing is it is used in UTI that is a urinary tract infection. So it helps in the formation of the urine. It's used in jaundice and it's good for your heart now let's know who should not use it the pregnant lady or the lactating women should not take this and children below the age of one should not have this plant or should not have take it internally so next is how to use it so if you're having cause if you're having cough or if you're having a respiratory problem then what you have to do is you have to take the vasa churna 15 grams of vasa churna and you have to boil 400 ml of water and put this churna in that and just boil it till it reduces to 100 ml and when it is reduced to 100 ml just you drain it or filter it and use this thrice a day uh, just you can take it to 40 ml at once so this is for the cough and the respiratory uh, disorders. So if you're having any skin diseases, you can apply the leaf, the paste of the leaf over the skin. It stops the bleeding, it reduces the pain and it also reduces the infection, skin infections and skin disorders. So now let's know about the Ayurvedic drugs which where the Vasa is used. The Vasa Valeha, Vasa Rista, Vasa Digrata, Amrita Rista, Mahavishagarbha Taila. So and many more drugs which has been used where the Vasa is used. So if you are having any bleeding over any part of the body, you can apply the paste of the leaf of Vasa over it and it reduces the pain and it reduces the bleeding. So this is all about uh, Vasa and let's know more about some other topic next week. So thank you for watching.